What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Come On Five, and I'm using a uh, Banditam. And this right here that you're seeing is actually um, Audacity. It's a uh, voice um, fucking. Tam it's a voice recorder, and then you match that up in editing later. So I'm using Banditam for my computer because it's time to look at the situation with Onyx now. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, you kind of have an idea of what happened already. What happened was I made my own original server, Xavier. And actually, let's just show you what that is. So I'm uh, going to a new thing here, so don't freak out. I'm just loading up. This is what Xavier is. This is what it was. It was a uh, thing. We shut it down because I simply didn't have the time. Uh, we had a griefing thing. On its hub actually sent those people, uh, and I actually have proof of that. As you can see, we're actually pretty successful. We had two, uh, 220 hits in about a week. Uh, I didn't actually know about this. This is n <laughs> That's new, so we'll uh, go there later. Uh, not now, obviously, in the video. But unspecified ban. I got banned once for making a site in, quote, direct competition. But let's listen to this. I messaged um, Onyx, the admins there. The following message has been sent. That's my name. Isn't it awesome? Via the contact form on its hub. Unspecified ban. I got banned for an unspecified reason. I'd like to know what it is. Because I didn't know at the time. I don't know where the reply is. And then, it was, and then he said, Oh, your ban was for making a site in direct competition and using many of our ideas. You will not be unbanned. The thing is, the main idea that Onyx had would probably be guilds, and considering thousands of other Minecraft servers on PC have them, and probably a good hundred or so on Xbox 360 have those, that's not really an original idea, so just choke on your own bullshit there. You will not be unbanned. Okay, whatever. I know the Xavier site got Onyx admins upset, but for whatever reason, I'm banned in now. Your reasons, uh, that's what I sent back. He sent back, uh, your reasons was listed in the last email. You will not be unbanned. So that's not really helpful. We go here. Click on these. And I said something about, like, I want to do, um, new YouTube things. It's like YouTube video discussion that I want to keep going on with the series. Nope, you're banned. Yeah, hey guys, I want to do more uh, YouTube publicity. Nope, you're banned. That's really not good at all. Ouch. That's kind of sad if we can't even discuss things intelligently. And you want to tell me that this is intelligent. If you want to do that, you're choking on bullshit. So, hello. Sorry. Uh, hold on. Sorry to see you don't find my reply in style intelligent or professional. In regards to your entail inquiry, I'm going to have to decline your offer to do YouTube publicity for us. I'm declining this offer based upon your actions and your previous time was on the server. You've been permanently banned from participating in our service, and that won't be changing at this time. <laughs> Thanks for reading. Now, this is a really smart-ass remark, saying, oh, look at this look at this fucker. I mean, he thinks I'm not being intelligent. Well, let me just use these big words that I probably had to use a dictionary to look up, because I don't know what the hell they mean. Just curious here that this is a name I use on the internet because I really fucking hate when people mispronounce my name, so it's it's not that difficult. Just curious here, what proof uh, do you have? And there was none given. Hey, we do not hold evidence for more than a few days. Due to this, we will not be providing said proof. Still smart assy, but whatever. Um, this is the comment that's the problem. We do not hold evidence for more than a few days. That's a problem because you... You want to hold evidence for a while, until even a while after the initial thing is cleared up. You want to hold it, so that's a really bad idea. Then I, then I got um, word from a friend of mine that they did have it, but they deleted it. So in other words, they didn't have proof is what's basically happening. They're, they're pulling that I deleted it card, and you know what? We know what that means here. We know what that means. So does Onyx even have proof or not? If they have no proof, then why? We don't provide proof, nor are we obligated to. So that's a really... Um, making, sure that's still, making sure that's still going. Okay. That is really a problem there. 
you kind of have to do that. You don't always have to, but you kind of have to provide proof to make sure that you actually have a story to happen. You have evidence to back up what you're doing. I'm not asking for you to provide proof. I decided to put that to see what would happen. I actually want them to provide proof, and I'm still waiting for it. If I get unbanned, though, I won't ask for it, because then everyone's happy now. I'm not asking for you to provide proof. I just want to know if Onyx has proof. If not, you can't ban someone without it. We have the right to remove anyone from our service as we see fit. Put in the comments section below right now. Pause the video. Put it in the comments section right now. What you think is wrong with that statement. I'm just going to give you some time. Alright, here's what's wrong with it. This comment is the worst comment you can say right there. Mostly because you are saying... Let me show you an example. It's kind of hard to explain, but let me give you an example. It'll be a little bit easier. We have the right to remove anyone from our services we see fit. Okay, fair enough. You're admins of your own server. The problem with that is... Let, let's say Onyx is having a bad, la bad day. Let's say Onyx Hub for whatever reason, or one of the admins is very irritated uh, for some reason, you know, uh, something broke or, uh, you know, they something got canceled on DVR, whatever, whatever. Something happened and they're a little bit irritated and they're not happy that day. And they're moderating the server and everything and uh, there's uh, some people playing and then there's a new guy that comes in. He registers on the website and everything and um, He's already been there once, but they haven't seen him. So, you know, he tries to introduce himself. Let's do this guy name. Let's call him Bob. <laughs> God damn. Let's call this guy Bob. So, Bob, and let's call the administrator uh, Jake. Let's just give him Jake. Generic name. So, Jake, the administrator, or the moderator, uh, is upset that day. He's irritated. And Bob is a new player... And he says, hi, J or, are you an admin, Jake? He's the only other one in the game and in the party. So we asked him, are you an admin? Or besides Onyx Hub, obviously, because hosting. But Bob asks Jake if he's an admin because he's the only person really doing anything. And Jake says, yes, why the hell do you want to know? That's, he's, and then, that's the problem there. If you're having a bad day and you just say, you know what, fuck you, you're getting removed because I'm, I'm pissed off today. That's the problem with that. So that's where it happens. So this is what I put. Like a dictatorship without an appeal process. So you just eliminate anyone you want with no reason given to them, and they have to go through communications, like this I may point out, which aren't perfect, to find out, and then are given a reason like, quote, we have the right to remove anyone from our services we see fits, and that is apparently good management. That's not good management. That's a bad, that's bad. That's not good. Hi, I will try to make this clear for you. You were... Uh, first banned, this is again to me, you were first banned due to making a site in direct competition with Honest Hub and Stealing Ideas. Hold on, I'm going to stop it right here and look at this comment. There's a problem with this one too. This is, I'm going to pull out this exact part of it. There are two things wrong with this comment, first of all, but I'm going to uh, take the first huge thing and highlight it so you all can see it. There. That right there is the problem. Making a site in direct competition. The reason that's bad is where where I live, there it's a fairly metropolitan area, you know, it's not a huge New York City type of thing. But, you know, we've got the residential area here, and then we've got some smaller shops, and we've got the major shops, and that's what we call our square. In the square, there's competition. You can have Macy's, you can have JCPenney right next to each other. Those are competing businesses, aren't they? You can have McDonald's, you can have Culver's, you can have Wendy's, you can have Burger King, all in one area. You can have Subway in there, for fuck's sake. And you want to... And those are competing businesses. But you don't hear about McDonald's getting upset that Culver's is competing with them. Much like you don't hear uh, Wendy's complaining that Burger King's competing with them. Well, because no one goes to Burger King anymore. <laughs> so... That Wendy's and KFC aren't competing, and you don't um, hear any, you don't hear these companies complaining about competition. They like competition; it makes them work harder. 
doesn't it? It makes them work harder. This is the problem here. The problem All right, well, I'm going to actually uh, go for a second. I'm going to do a... Um, actually, you know, now I'm not going to do it. All right, we're back to recording. I uh, forgot that I had to do um, 10 minutes, so never mind. I put a black screen up there just so I could keep uh, talking. Anyway, you don't hear about some of these things, or some of these people, rather, or companies, complaining about competition. You don't You don't hear that, do you? I, I don't. Personally, I don't. They, they like competition. They embrace it. It makes them work harder. So... They're not complaining about competition. Why would you? If anything, you should embrace competition. It makes you work harder. You try and make your server better. And if your server gets better, you get more people. And more people means you get better things. You get more users. You get more customers. You can do so much more with 40 people instead of 10 people. You know, it's that thing where more people is better in a situation because... Then you can say, we have the most people, we have the better server. Eat that. That's the thing. The other thing is, well, it, well also let's just highlight that, and that goes with uh, that goes with this. But also, stealing ideas, I'm going to say right now, there was absolutely no stealing of ideas. We put up our own shop and sold things that Onyx hasn't even considered selling. And these are with points, these aren't with US dollars or euros or anything these are just with harmless website points that you got from doing uh, missions which never really got set up of course the server was one week old when we shut it down because I just didn't have the time and I realized I didn't have the time but pretty much what happened was you know you got points and that'll be that so that's not that's and that's also a plugin on engine a donation craft or donation store or is it donation craft I have no idea. Uh, I think pre- I'm pretty sure it's donation craft, but it anyway. It's a, it's a little point shop where you can redeem points and buy some things, and then we deliver them to you. That's not really their original idea, considering again thousands of PC servers do it, and hundreds probably of Xbox 360 servers do it. You then got the uh, guilds, which are not original anyway, and the whole idea of a server like this, a community-based server where people just build a house. And keep and you know do what they want, make progress in Minecraft. That is an idea that is not original. You don't have original ideas. You can't copyright your idea. You can't copyright something that says, "Hey, you know what? We're gonna have that. We're gonna have these people build a house." You can't do that. They can copyright the name, the logo. I don't give a shit. They didn't copyright the name and logo because that's the right thing to do here. That would be correct, and that would be idea stealing, and that would probably be a lawsuit actually if I stole that. But I didn't, and I didn't steal any other ideas. I could copyright the Xavier name and the Xavier logo. I could do that. The thing is, the idea of a community server where people build their houses, it's not your original idea. Guilds aren't your original idea. The store isn't. And the idea, basically, of a community server like that is not an original idea. So, again, please, no, just don't even try that. We move on. You were given a second chance on the server, but not the site, because apparently competition is an evil thing. And during which time, members complained about you stealing items from them, after which an admin found your house containing lots of stolen items, so you were re-banned without warning, as you are already on a second chance. There we go, highlighted. That is false. The time that I was in on it for the two days after the ban for Xavier... The, th- the thing that happened was, is that uh, there was one person, okay, you had Onyx Hub, he was away at the time, we were in a party, and it said away, and he said he was going to leave. He was going to keep the server up, but he was leaving. There was another person in the party, and the game, as well, I'm not going to give any names out, because that's not going to be cool. I'm not going to give gamer tags, or names, or anything. I'm not even going to give a hint, but there was one person in the server... So you can't say members, because there was only one member. And we were working together, and we went mining, and we found a ton of stuff. So, 
that whole this whole thing right here is false. After which an admin found your house containing lots of stolen items. You can't say though without proof that I put them there, and I'm not saying I did put them there. I'm not saying I didn't put them there. I'm saying, well, actually, you know what? Let's change that because I just fucked up the words a little bit. I think I said I. I'm not saying I did put them there. I think I said that twice. So um, I'm gonna go with this. I'm not. S fuck it. I didn't put any stolen items there, and I actually know who did. Now, unfortunately, the tap card wasn't running then. But let's. Put something out. Those are the two people right here that put them in there, and I've got the uh, messages actually to prove it. And those will be released in a separate video. So. Whatever. That's that's what happened. You will not now or ever be allowed to participate in our service and out service. I'm sorry. Thank you for your interest. I'm not interested. And I will completely put this in a new video. Uh, something completely different. This will be in a this response right here will be a new video. And this is where I completely owned him right here. Just read this paragraph right there. Just read that highlighted paragraph.